Welcome to MathCast Edition 2. This is part 1 of 3, discussing what is an algae tile. And we will find that algae tiles are physical models, either plastic pieces or pieces of paper, that will help us see mathematical concepts. In part 1, we will be using algae tiles as two-color counters, and we're going to illustrate something called the zero principle. In part two, we'll be using them to illustrate like and unlike terms. And in part three, we'll be using them in combination with the multiplication array to create an area model. So let's get started on part one. The zero principle states that a positive and a negative cancel out. So right now, I have two positives and two negatives. They cancel each other out, so this is zero. Even though there are, are algae tiles up there, it's still zero. The key is if I add a blue positive one, I have to balance it with a red negative one. Again, this is still zero. As long as I add them in pairs, I maintain my balance that this is equal to zero. If I look at the number three, the most obvious representation is just to have three positive blue chips here. However, I can also illustrate 3 by having pairs of 0 underneath it. Again, as long as I'm adding zeros in pairs, these are all different representations of 3. These down here cancel off for 0, and I'm left with an unbalanced positive 3. Hence, it's still 3. Negative 4. Again, I have 4 unbalanced negative tiles or negative chips. As long as I add pairs of positive and negative together, this maintains its value as negative 4. If I want to use these in an operation, this is positive 3, which I currently have shown here, plus 2. So what this says is add two positive chips to this pile. So positive 1, positive 2. And now if I count my unbalanced chips, from here to here, I find that I have an unbalanced number of 5, illustrating that 3 plus 2 equals 5. Negative 6 plus 2. So I'm starting with negative 6 here. I'm just keeping some 0 pairs at the top, just for balance. Keep them there in case they, I need them for something else. So this says, to the negative 6 tiles, add two positive tiles. So I'll grab my two positive tiles and I'll place them in there. And you'll notice they zero out two of the red negative tiles and I'm left with, from here to here, just negative four, which is my answer. A little more difficult. We can show there's a couple things here. If I start with seven, and I, so you can see here I have seven positive blue tiles, and I want to add two negative tiles to it. So there's one negative tile, there's the second. Now these pairs up here zero off, and I'm left with one, two, three, four, five positives. So seven plus negative two equals five. We can also look at that as getting the same result from seven minus two equals five. And it's worth noting or spending a little time looking at this situation of s operations and symbols. Adding a negative gives us the same result as subtracting the positive. You might want to pause that and look at that for a moment. Okay, a little more complex. I want to have positive 6, which is what I have down here. And from that, I want to take away negative 4 or take away 4 red tiles. So I'm going to highlight four red tiles, and I'm just going to drag them away. Let me try that again. Maybe I'll just hit delete. It's easier. So now when I look at the number of unbalanced tiles I have, I have four here plus another six. I have a total of ten unbalanced positive tiles. So when we look at this operation, six subtract negative four yields a result of ten. So when we compare this, 6 subtract negative 4 gives me the exact same result as 6 plus 4. So again, when we're subtracting a negative value, 
it gives us the same result as adding that positive value. Again, you may wish to pause this and look over this. This is one of the more common mistakes people make. Lastly, I want to subtract negative 5 tiles from negative 2 tiles. Well, if I look at my demonstration here, I only have negative 2 tiles present. It's quite difficult to take away 5 from that. So what I'm going to do is use my zero principle, and I'm going to add a zero, or pairs of terms, to this problem. Now when I look at the problem, I still have negative 2 on the negative on the left right hand side, but I also now have enough tiles that I could subtract 5 negatives. So if I highlight those 5 negatives, and I drag them away, or subtract them, I am left with a value of positive 3. So let's look at the algebraic expression. Negative 2 subtract negative 5 equals 3. We just showed that with the, the tiles. And again, to recap, if I subtract a negative, it gives me the same result as if I add a positive. Okay, again, worth taking a moment to look at that. So here we have three examples. If you would like to pause it now, write down your possible solutions. Watch out for the last one. You'll be subtracting a negative here. And there are your solutions. So 8 subtract negative 3. Remember we said that's the same as adding the positive. So 8 plus 3 gives me 11. So I'd like to thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, please email me at childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thank you very much.